What's up, guys? Do you want to be universe? It's that time again, guys. It's that time again for MLP Equestria Girls, and it is on this called Legend of Everfree. So, in the back of my mind, I don't know if I actually mentioned this on the channel before that I was I was looking for a moment when, like, we see the uh, Everfree Forest equivalent of the uh, oh, I got Anime Club in like an hour. Uh, the Everfree uh, Forest equivalent of this universe. And it looks like this is going to be it. So they're going to... I don't know what the entire premise is about. Uh, this this trailer came out like a two hours ago or something like that. And I'm just now watching it. Who knows when when you're going to see this. I'm going to try to like post it out soon. Because I want to make this a reaction slash analysis. Because, you know, something like that needs to happen for a guy like me. Especially since this trailer is like a minute and, a minute and 33 seconds long. So we're just going to get started. And now I'm going to talk about it. All right. Three, two, one, now. I have no time for this. Attention, Go. students! We're almost at Camp Everfree! Oh man, that editing. So that edit out of the week of Camp Ever! Oh, it's beautiful, huh. isn't it? The fresh air, the cool breeze. So far, okay, new location. Everfree. That only happens to you. Of course, and. That. It's going to be getting dark soon. I love her outfit. Still, so she got some pretty good outfits. Scary stories! Come on! Oh, no. I told you about the legend. Of Gaia Everfree. A derpy, just unimpressed. <laughs> Where she went. I'm sorry. Strange Still things put. started to happen. Uh, Twilight. Let me guess, she's real. How is oh. it possible? Again, great editing, and that's the face she would make when she sees something like that happen. Has anybody seen Rainbow Dash? <laughs> okay. Yeah, th these humans have very happen. strong anatomies. Oh dear. I think it's Gaia Everfree. Her magic is infecting my friends. I mm. ever free could be some creature that got booted from Equestria and ended up in this world. I hope it's not. I really hope that's not actually the explanation for this character. But it probably is. Save the day. Mm. Legend of Everfree. Why do these kinds of things always happen to us? Well, because you're the main characters. October 1st, on, on, to Netflix. Okay, so it's no more theatrical releases. I, I, I'm not entirely sure which was the last theatrical release. Was uh, Rainbow Rocks? Uh, not Rainbow Rocks. I know Rainbow Rocks was a theatrical release. And I also think uh, the last movie was too. So is this going just straight to Netflix and we're having no more theatrical releases? Because I can like this being like its own like mini series that happens every so often, every couple of months, six months or something like that. And just be it on Netflix because Netflix has a lot of good stuff on it. I don't know if you guys have been on Netflix lately, but Netflix has really uh, gone on a big haul of great shows and great things. And no, this is not me being sponsored. I'm, I would love to be sponsored by Netflix, but... Whatever, but enough about Netflix. This is about My Little Pony, of course, your girls, uh, the uh, uh, Legend of Everfree. Now, I like, uh, okay, we have a main bad guy, main antagonist, and this main antagonist it, it is definitely, you know, referenced from Gaia, from the mythology, you know, the, the mother of Earth and whatnot, so that's pretty obvious to, to everything, and uh, Everfree being the Everfree Forest, and and the connections between that. However, there's uh, one thing I gotta say before I get started with this entire thing. I telling you, please don't make her backstory is that she got booted out of Equestria and she was banished here or or, or something like. Just don't make her banished. If she found her way here on her own merits, that's fine. But if she got banished or if she was just something that then Equestria Girls has officially become that dimension you know how you have that theorist being like sooner or later in the future uh whenever we uh go to the restroom and we ever and ever have to you know go to the restroom our feces and fecal matter and whatnot will go to a separate dimension yeah the the, the stuff isn't here anymore but it's now in a different dimension messing with someone else's life yeah and they don't like it but who do we why do why should we care it's like pokemon oh, uh, 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 delta emerald and that storyline i'm not gonna talk about it because you don't know, spoil it but it hasn't been out for a while so you should already know about it but it's exactly like that we get rid of a problem and throw it somewhere else but they have to deal with it now it happened with the it happened with the dazzlings like it now it's happening it, please don't say it's happening to her too 
You just like, if we have a problem, just throw it in there. Just, they'll handle it. Just forget it. It's, it out of sight, out of mind, right? But, uh, hey, the, the backstory for this character aside, uh, her power does uh, stimulate from nature, okay? That's pretty obvious, but apparently she also has some uh, equestrian magic along with her that's so, that's so powerful it's reacting to the main uh, characters, main six, with main seven, my fault, main seven, with Twilight now being fully part of the group, which is great, happy they're doing that. Uh, and their powers are reacting. So we got Twilight doing magic, actual magic that you would see regular Twilight do. Uh, Twilight do. Uh, you see Rainbow Dash uh, being Rainbow Dash. Uh, the only things that are actually relatively new is Rarity summoning gigantic diamonds as shields. I'm at least 85% sure Rarity has not done that in a series like that. And and Fluttershy is just now more in tune with animals and like you could say it's like power surges so they can't really control them but they have them seems it seems legit like that and the one thing I want to know is how is it gonna react to uh, uh, Sunset right now because it didn't seem it didn't really show like her really like reacting to it I'm sure it'll have something about that but the, the plot here seems pretty straightforward they go to camp get a new area they do some things Bad guy. Bad guy does some crazy stuff. Crazy stuff goes awry. That crazy stuff then turns into friendship bonding and building, and then they fall for a bit, but then they get back up because they realize friendship beats everything in this show, and they take it out at the end, and it's not much of a spoiler because you know what's going to happen. The only thing that is a spoiler would be what comes next. Will this movie tie into the show in any way? Will this have anything to do with anything anymore? Because this might be the first movie period of Equestria Girls that has nothing to do with the original Twilight from our, you know, pony dimension. Because we got it in the first uh, we got it in the first movie, got it in the second movie, even in the third movie, and now we need to see like none of her in this movie. It's just straight uh, Sunset Shimmer only with the new, uh, well, the old this Twilight here, and that's, and this, this just makes it its own thing now. It's a question of girls. Not My Little Pony. No My Little Pony characters coming to this dimension. I would not be surprised if they do, like, you know, the journal, and they do have, like, a slight cameo, but I don't believe that she'll have any, like, none of the main characters in, you know, MLP universe will do anything. And if they do, it's fine. But sooner or later, this has to have its own thing. It has to have its own merit, and I think this is the movie that's supposed to have its own merit. This is, Which is another reason why I think it's on Netflix. It's just like, there it is. It's on Netflix. You can watch it anytime you want. It's there. Watch it. It's great. Probably. Uh, probably good. So, yeah. Uh, when it comes to just series aside, it just, uh, there's not much to really, like, say expecting for anything other than the fact that it's just, hopefully, it's a great movie. And just like the other, the other three. Rainbow Rocks is still considered to be my favorite. Uh, the the uh, uh, friendship games is like I think because uh, I do actually like the first movie a lot. I do like the first movie a lot, despite some of its flaws that many people like to point out. But I I, I like it. Along, uh, but in Equestria Games again it could be my second favorite though. And yeah, we got now I got a new Equestria Girls movie. Yay. Um, I'm gonna see whether or not uh, I can get like other stuff done, but I do need to head off into school. And I almost forgot to mention, I got done with a half second animation of Icon dodging something. I'm never gonna show it to you guys, or not even gonna post it up on DeviantArt. Why? Because I'm embarrassed of it. Why am I embarrassed of it? Because I hate everything that I do. Sooner or later, all of you people watching me will realize that. So sorry for not sharing what I get done, and if I happen to get an A on the project, maybe I might do it with the confidence I'll get from that, but don't expect it anytime. And, uh, not at least until I polish the crap out of it, like, I, I want that thing to be smooth, but, yeah, but, but with all that aside, this was a great uh, introductory introduction to the new movie that's coming out, and bar none, it had nothing, I, I saw only nothing, to, I said nothing to do with the main MLP universe, it's just that the only thing they brought that up was maybe in the MLP universe this thing was so bad they brought it here. Well, not intentionally, you know, it probably Star, uh, Star Swirl the Builder didn't even intentionally want to throw them in this particular dimension, but you know what I mean. 
Just because you send it to another dimension doesn't mean it's not going to cause trouble and problems in another dimension. That's a thing people don't seem to understand. But, whatever. Okay, I'm, I'm about to get out of y'all here. Uh, and then, hope you enjoyed this uh, mini rant of sorts. But it's not much of a rant. I, I love the show and what, what it does. It's just, you know, some, sometimes you gotta, like, talk about it this way. So, this is Do You Want Me to Universe. See you guys next time.